Hi. It's me. And me. And Lenny is also here. Yes. You may have noticed I've been very into the recent Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot camp. Gee, really? They just made the most of it and just a big old labor of love, a love letter to the entire series. Well, yeah, if there's any the series up to Advanced Wars 2. Yeah, but like if there's anything that can be said about the re remake is that obviously it, it was made with love for the franchise. Yes. You, you could, if you're going to make a tier list for Advanced Wars, you would rate the COs, right? Like, which CO is very good? Uh, yeah, no. We're, gonna no, rate, we're ranking uh, the best part of the remake, which is the music, which you're listening it, to right now. It probably now. is the best part of the remake. It's true. Dude, it just, I was not expecting the music to be this amazing. There was no reason like, to go wow. this hard, but they did. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and dude, I'll take any opportunity I can get to geek out about video game music, so let's go. Yeah, we're just gonna rate all the tracks. Well, well, the CO themes and CO power themes. We might talk about some other music. Oh, there's definitely mentions. A, a few other tracks that I just want to mention, like, oh man, these are also yes. really good. But yeah, like, we're mainly just Me gonna too. do all of the CO themes and power but themes, because those are very them. easy to rank, like, yeah. Oh, they're very easy to rank? Well, I no, I mean, that. no, it's, it's very clear. Like, those are very easy picks to be like, yeah. Yes. Character themes. Bam. If you look at my tier list, I don't just have S, A, B, C, F, or whatever. Which I kind have... of, which, it's, it, which is a little disappointing to me purely just because I can't make the joke that I wanted to make, which is <laughs> we both know what the S stands for. Is it for Savvy or Sensei? <laughs> Uh, or Sonia? No, oh. all right, fine. But no, I feel like I, I like more descriptive tiers. Yeah. I mean, either is fine. And they don't really need explanation. I mean, absolutely amazing is pretty clear. Then you have Fantastic, which is already, like, mm -hmm. it, it's really good, but it, it's not absolutely amazing. Like, <laughs> a couple of tracks in this game are just mind-blowingly good. <laughs> then we have Pretty Good, or just the tracks that are like, you know, I like yeah, those. I like it. It's nice. Then a couple, maybe, you know, it's okay. It's not super great. But then a tier that might need a little more explanation, especially seeing some I'm thinking of putting into there. I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Underwhelming usually doesn't mean I don't like it. Like, underwhelming are themes that I actually should put in, like, pretty good. But, but there's something that's like, ah... They could have done I a little bit better. I wish they were better. Therefore, yeah. it is a sin and they belong in Underwhelming. Yeah, because again, like, notice that there is no bad on this well, no. tier list. Because there is no bad in the soundtrack. The worst thing it can be is Underwhelming. Yeah, which is still good. It's just, we wish it was better. By the way, uh, I ripped, I forgot about this. I ripped the entire soundtrack. I put it up on my community tab. I'll also put it in the description. If you want to yeah. download it, get it there. But also if they do end up releasing the soundtrack, which they won't, because they never do, yeah. uh, please buy it. It's like, it's the best soundtrack in a long time. So let's start with... Ah. This one is really, like, it was always, like, a nice theme. But mm. I feel for this one, they really went all out with making it sound really good. I like those bells at the start. Yeah, the bells. And then, for, for me, it's the moment the saxophone kicks in. Oh, like, listen. Ah, it's so, so, like, it is good. But I'm, I'm like all the spoilers the between fantastic like, and pretty good. What, dude? This one is fantastic. Like, this is the best Orange Star theme, in my opinion. Wait, what about Sammy? I'm sorry, this one beats it for me. I, this needs to go in Fantastic for me. Okay, if I'm on the fence, we'll put it in Fantastic. I feel like I might have to make them smaller at some point because they mm. won't fit in the tier. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll oh. meet that when that happens. Yeah. Um, but then... I really love... A lot of like the orange star ones just add like this nice hard bass, but then also like mm -hmm. the, the like the twinkling sounds. Mm -hmm. It's really it's it really suits really nice. because yeah. of lucky star. Yeah, it's just you know the the fun vibe. But I don't think it belongs in absolutely amazing. No, no. Personally, I wouldn't be opposed to putting this one in pretty good. Wait, really? I, 
Yeah, I actually might prefer the original a little bit more, just because in this one, the rhythm is a very basic 4x4, while I think the percussion in the original is a lot more funky and stuff, and like, changes things up sometimes. But I mean, it's it's a pretty small difference, so it doesn't really... Like, it could also go fantastic, because it's still Nell Steam, which is really yeah, good. Yeah, I guess it can go below the regular one. I mean, it's your decision. I, I For like this one, the, I'm the on the club fence, vibe, so. though. Yeah, like, last one, you were on the fence, so I pulled through. Now I'm on the fence, so now you can pull through and put it wherever you want. We'll put it in Fantastic, just mm -hmm. below the regular theme. Mm -hmm. oh. It's so good. Yeah, I'm telling you, my favorite orange star theme. Uh, in the original game, this was definitely one of the themes that was up there, because... Oh, yeah. The first Advance Wars doesn't have that many very good themes. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I remember at some point I was like, oh, the like soundtrack to Advance Wars 2 was way better. And you were like, what? But yeah, it's like, I think yeah, a is. lot of themes, like there were some good themes in Advance Wars 1. But there were also a lot of ones that were just like, yeah, they're, they're, they're good. They're okay. But And this one is definitely one of the better ones. But I feel like this one... I think I put it in pretty good, just because this one is like a very straightforward. It's the original theme. Oh wait! Well, I feel like the uh, yeah. While I feel like a lot of the other themes, they went ex the extra mile to really update them. Yes, I, it could belong in Fantastic, but I feel like Fantastic is going to get very filled. Yeah. Really quick. But I mean, I mean, look, I guess a little bit of a story time when I got the game early and I played the first mission as Andy and I used his CO power. <laughs> like knowing not knowing about this here we go how this just goes full euro beats now this is this is fucking good <laughs> it's so good this one yeah because like the original theme is like yeah it's a basic remake it's like you know it's the theme you like and now it's mm -hmm. like oh yeah like, I wouldn't be opposed to putting this in, in absolutely amazing. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, oh, which themes deserve to be in absolutely amazing. And I, but I feel this like one. too limiting to be like, oh, is it really absolutely amazing? So I'm like, no, fuck, put it, put it in absolutely amazing. It's so good. I mean, we both like Eurobeats, so that guy knows. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is absolutely amazing. When I hear this, it's just all I can think of. It's just so satisfying, that little yeah. melody. It's like, it's kind of like a Starman thing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's basically the Starman theme of like, well, Andy, I guess, yeah. Starmandy. Starmandy. <laughs> there you go. Orange Starmandy. <laughs> All Perfect. right. Yeah. Probably the worst theme from the original. Yeah, I definitely agree. And like this one doesn't belong in underwhelming because it's what you expect. Yeah, but and this I, one I, I feel think, we can oh, both agree is just it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I do like it. Definitely like it better than in the original yes. game because in the original I was definitely like, yeah, I don't know. I, like I feel like if I would listen to the original soundtrack, I would just skip this one. But like in the remake now, this one it's like, yeah, it's nice. Mm, I might still skip it, but it's I I, I definitely put it in. It's okay. The next one though, how do you feel about the power version? Definite improvement. I actually like it. It is. Definitely. One thing I really like that doesn't show in this one is, yeah. is the sound design of uh, the units getting powered up. Oh, that's really nice. It's probably the best, or one of the best, like, unit yeah. uh, power-up sound. It, it is like kind of like punch sound. Yeah, it's boxing a boxing ring. ring. Yeah. It's, it sounds really good and yeah. super satisfying. Mm -hmm. But is it enough to put it up to pretty good? Oh, no. Because I, I like the start, but then it just becomes max theme, but, but faster. Yeah, but I know. It's just, like, I know. I think this is a strictly superior version. So I think it definitely shouldn't be on the same level as the original. So I'd, I'd put it at pretty good. No, it can be, but just above it. I think it, it's still so, just oh, okay. What, you mean put it at the top? Put it in, of, it's, it's okay, okay, but above Max's uh, regular version. Hmm. If you look at, like, all of the CO themes, it's still... Like, it, it, it is good, I like it. But it's still relatively at the bottom. Yeah. Compared to some of the others. So, yeah, I suppose you're right. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Crazy stuff can happen. Mm. 
then, I mean, you can't go wrong, right? It's our girl. And this is the one they used for all the trailers, right? Yeah, this is the one you heard in the trailer and it's like, oh yeah, they made the right choice with picking this they one. They knew. Yeah. But I think it's just pretty good. No, I agree. I would put it in pretty good, <laughs> but above Andy. Yeah, definitely above Andy. But like, it, it's classic. Sammy's theme is definitely, I think it might be the best from the original. I mean, when I think about the original game, this is the song that I think of. It's really good. Like, in the, in the, in the grand scheme of the remake, this one is pretty good. Because again, I feel like with most of the Orange Star CO themes, they were always very much like, yep, it's just a more high-definition version of the original. Mm -hmm. While the others uh, got a lot more of a glow-up, I think. But now I'm very curious what your opinion is on this one. I mean, it's basically, I strong the, opinion. it's basically the same thing. Here's the thing. It basically uses like the exact same style Mel's mm -hmm. CO theme uses, but I'm like, it doesn't suit Sammy. Mm -hmm. Like the twinkles, those are for Mel. So this one is actually the first one. I will put it underwhelming. Oh, because like, I suppose I was expecting so much. Yeah, from an true. upgraded Sammy theme. No, you're right. Like, that's the thing. With all of the upgraded themes, I'm always like, oh, yeah, that's that's an upgrade. For, but for this one, I'm like, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And what's added doesn't really suit Sammy. Mm -hmm. And I feel so bad about yeah. it. You know what it should have been? It should have been marching sounds. Yes, anything. Like, imagine, like, an army marching to this. Like, that would Wait. fit way better because she's all about infantry. Yeah, I... I some people might disagree with this one, but for me, it just, it doesn't do it. Yeah, like the thing I, is... I was expecting so much more. Yeah. yeah, like with this one, there's there's no reason to listen to this one over the original. Unless you want to hear Twinkles. But for that, I've got yeah. Mel, so... Yes, exactly. Actually, this is a theme that you kind of never heard in the original, because you never got Hachi. But <laughs> it's nice. Well, it's nice is not a tier. It's nice. It's pretty chill. But when I want to listen to some advanced art music, I don't want to listen to this. I want to listen to some cool, like, battle music. I, I would definitely agree. Like, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, you put it above Max? Yes. Hmm. Oh, well, actually, I would, yeah, no, listen. maybe not this power theme. Yeah, no. Put it above Max, but below power. Yes. I feel like that's right. <laughs> surfer vibes yeah this is pretty fun it's fun i wouldn't call it pretty good yeah no i agree it's definitely i def this definitely is, not up there with like sammy's theme no but is it above power max or below power max i don't know because like if i have to think about okay would i rather listen to max's power theme or this power theme mm -hmm. i think i'd still prefer to listen to max's power theme however i do really like that again with like you said with uh, max's power theme it's very much the same thing but like a bit faster and stuff and with like a little drum and bass like beat. But this one yeah, does this something one, way more fun because it's like a cool like surfer theme This now. one changes it up. I still think I like Max's Power theme more, but I appreciate this one more because it does something <laughs> really cool with it. So I don't know. <laughs> I think I would put it above Max's. Yeah, well, that's fine with me. Yeah, that's, that feels right. Yeah. I always liked Olaf's theme and this is one that's again just oh look it's it's yeah. an HD version of yeah. the theme mm -hmm. this is exactly what you'd expect it could be at the tail end of pretty good yeah that's the thing either it's on the, at, the t at the top of it's okay or it's at the bottom of pretty good because I do like the, the, the choir that they added yeah I like the singing at the end yeah yeah I could go pretty good let's just put it at the bottom of pretty good alright but then I really love what this one adds to Olaf's theme. And I really <laughs> like this one. Yeah? Yes. It's definitely like very, just like, yeah, just straight up, let's make it more intense. But I didn't like yeah. guitars and shit. It's so good. If you don't want to put it in Fantastic, that's fine. But I would definitely put it at the top pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't put it Fantastic. Okay. Personally. I but it's, def it's definitely, I would definitely rank it higher than uh, the original. But like, then, listen to where? this part, dude. <laughs> this 
dude, yeah. this yeah, it was, it's like this is the part Santa that makes is coming it. to town. <laughs> it's to drop it's bombs so on your good. Team. Okay, I'm not gonna put it in fantastic, but goddamn, it it's definitely at the top of pretty good. I like that a, a lot of them. You can really see the difference, but then for Olaf, just like Olaf, and then <gasps> the camera zoomed in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to admit, listening to this part, I'm like, oof. Is it fantastic? Uh, no, you don't know. Yeah. Just leave it there for now. We can always move it later if we want to, but... And again, it's another Advanced Wars 1 mm -hmm. track. I know people love Grit. I mean, I also love Grit. But as a theme, it's like, it's okay. I like it more than Hachi's. Oh yeah, I agree. But is it better than Power Hachi? I don't think it is. Nah. Better than Power Max? Ooh, I think it might be. Mm, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I'll. Mm, eh, you know what? Sure, you can put it above Power Max. Above Power Max? Yeah. But then, how do you feel about this power theme? See, this one. Mm, I actually don't like it. Yeah, that much. it's it's basically like it's it's the exact same theme except ooh, now now it's electric guitar. I'm not sure if I'd go as far as putting it underwhelming, but. It could belong in Underwhelming, but then again, were you expecting a lot? Yeah, because that's the thing. This is pretty much exactly what I was expecting. I guess it's above regular Hachi and regular Max. Yeah, I suppose that's a good place to put it. Why are we putting so much in It's Okay? Because I feel like a lot of the really good ones are like backloaded. Eh, uh, I guess. A very clear... Um, a Paper Mario-esque track, I guess? <laughs> it, it totally sounds like a Paper Mario track. Especially in the GBA version. Mm. As an HD version, it sounds very nice. I think it, it could just eke out and uh, go above Andy's re regular theme. Yeah, it is pretty fun. Like, that's the thing. This theme is just fun. Yes. Yeah, I think, I th for me, it belongs just above Andy's regular theme. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? Yeah. This one's so fucking good. It's so fun, it's, right? No, I, f I really feel with this one, they just knew the meme potential. I of, suppose. Imagine, like, imagine the power of money, but with this music playing. <laughs> I feel like this is just marching band having fun. <laughs> I, know, I like, really love this They turned into like one. a little ska ditty. It's really yeah. fun. But is it the top of pretty good or fantastic? <laughs> I feel like... This sh mm. okay it could I, go I, in I, fantastic. I feel like yeah, I like this one more than Olaf's because this one is much more of a glow up. Mm -hmm. I think like it's a bigger improvement. So I, I'd say this goes to fantastic. It's not better than Nels, right? Uh, no, I still prefer Nels. Is it better than Power Nels? <gasps> I think it could Ooh. be. It might be. I'll, I it's actually I like it more just because of how unique it is. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, now that's the power of money. <laughs> and again, this one is also like. Oh, they changed the camera angle slightly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see money in the background, you know? Ooh. Then, and I do think this one is actually a surprising glow up. Like, it starts pretty normal. Oh, I, I, I was also going to tell you, like, this theme in the original was also very much, eh, it's okay. But I would say of, out, out of all of the original themes, this one might be the biggest glow up of like, yes. oh, wow, suddenly it sounds really cool. Like, they just went all out with the guitars and, the, and drum solos and everything. Like, they really yep. had a lot of fun playing this. So this definitely needs to go in pretty good at the very least. But where? I think I might like it more than Colin's. But do I like it more than Sammy's? This entire part is, is kind of completely new. Yeah, that's the thing. Here it's just like they're just having fun and playing guitar and yeah. shit. So, oh, oh, it might go above Sammy. For I me. think it might, yeah. Yeah. I think it might even go above Power Olaf. Although the final part, no. Ah, but no. the final part of this one, though. <laughs> I, don't know. I think I might put it above Olaf, but. It's but hard, if you right? still prefer Olaf, then you can just keep it there. Like, but it's also kind of a surprise, you know, just how how much they improved it. Yeah, because I was expecting to listen to this one and be like, yeah, it's the, you know, it's the same thing. But it's like, oh, yeah. But I am actually really very job. curious how you feel about this power theme. I feel like right now, it's like, okay, where is this going? 
But now it's like, oh, I feel like this one is really good. So again, fantastic. it's just this song, but they're just playing it a lot harder and more sick solos and everything. The yeah. drums are going hard. Like for yeah. me, this also goes a fantastic just because it's again, such a big improvement over the original. Here's the thing. Like this entire part up to what we've heard is completely fine and I like it, but I feel like at the end it goes too hard. Where it's just too much of a good thing and it kind of loses its identity. <laughs> like wh what is this? Dude, you're fucking treading. Yeah, no, no, here's no. the thing. I actually I actually like this less than his regular theme. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I think it's just too much. Ooh. Hmm. But you think it's fantastic. Well, hmm. I'll let you decide, I guess. No, since... listen, listen. Let's not put it in fantastic. Like, if our opinions are this different, then it's definitely not going fantastic. Actually, we could I meet know. in the middle and put Eagle at the top of pretty good and then Olaf at the bottom of fantastic. I agree with that. There we go. No, but I also think a lot of the themes that are coming up are all going to go in fantastic or absolutely amazing for me. <laughs> there's a lot of good amazing? shit. There, <laughs> right? Listen, there's a lot of good shit coming up. Oh, but first, let's relax a little again, right? Mm -hmm. This one is really good. What a glow up, dude. Right? This is I like, mean, are we as enjoyed the original? Like, this, the original theme was very much like, I don't know, like kind of a goofy twangy guitar. It was like a little silly, you know? Yeah. But this one was just like adventure on the open sea. Mm -hmm. Like, for me, this is easy, fantastic. It's so good. I would put this above Colin. Wait, above Power Colin? Yeah, I love this one. It sounds so grand. Okay, hold up, let me take this in. <laughs> Honestly, you might be right. Dude, no, this, like, this is a theme, like, where I was like, like listening to the whole in t like today at work, I listened to the entire soundtrack like front to front to back, and this is the and this is the track where I had the most like, dude, why did they go this hard on the soundtrack? Because <laughs> it's such like again, the original was very simple and very goofy, and then for the here, it's just so again like grand adventure out on the open sea, and it sounds I'll so it. like, ah, oh, yeah, Ooh, this one is amazing. I see it. This one is also I mean, still very good, but I'm like, I, I'm not sure if it's like, oh, straight upgrade or it's worse than the original. Just like it's different and it's also very good, but I really wouldn't put it like above or like below. Like, I don't know. It's I'm, I feel, feel very similar. I think it's worse than, than his regular theme. Yeah, I think it's not as good. Because it takes away from the grandness of the open sea. Yeah. Feeling and just mm -hmm. replace it with, oh, cool guitar, electric <laughs> guitar, whoa. And it doesn't suit him that well. Where where would you put it? Mm. I also definitely think it's not as good as the original, but I don't know where, like, how Could much this of a be difference. Underwhelming? Is it? Mm, I don't know. That seems like this. Like, stretch. considering his regular theme. I mean, I suppose maybe. You're ca yeah. Am I making a case for underwhelming? Yeah, you are. I mean, it would definitely be at the top of Underworld because it's still better than Sammy's theme, <laughs> It's but... better than Sammy's, yes. But you know what? Yeah. I agree. Like, if we have the Underwhelming tier, I do want to put stuff in there, you know? Put so... it to good use. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know what I'm putting in Underwhelming, dude. Oh, I, I know. We, and we yeah. agree on that one, I think. Yeah. Up next, Lenny's no longer waifu. <laughs> they messed with their hair, man. It's not as cool anymore. Okay. But thank God her theme is still... Oh, I feel like I should listen to this one more because honestly, her regular theme, I'm not the biggest fan of. Really? Well, no. my thing is like, I really like the slow buildup. Yeah. My only problem is like, right now when it like gets going, it should have been louder, like more of a... Like, it feels like kind of understated in a little yeah, in the sense like, that I'm even like... Even when oh. the, next part, the next part starts, it's just like... like I'm kind of here driving tank. It's not underwhelming, but I do think that there I feel was like it, it is underwhelming because they have the potential to be so good. No, I don't know. I, I wouldn't put it in underwhelming. That's too much. 
Like, it's, mm -hmm. I still love the Steam. I mean, I think it still goes in at least pretty good. Like, just the Steam okay, was always again, one of my favorites. Underwhelming means you, like, expectations that weren't met. I feel like that suits this one. No, l listen. If we're also talking about character design, it definitely goes in underwhelming. Oh, shut but up. We're not talking <laughs> character design. Well, see, then just talking about the music, it's still pretty good. I really disagree. Oof. Come on, man. Because, like, I was expecting so much more from this theme, and it just didn't deliver. I guess you can put it at the top of underwhelming, sure. Yeah, for me, it actually kind of belongs at the top of underwhelming. Ah. Because I was expecting so much more. It kind of hurts me, but all right. But then you better do the pirate team justice. But then you have her power theme and holy fuck, what a world of difference. <laughs> no, like actually this one is really good. I love this one. Oh, yeah, like, like here when the it gets going. Is even better, right? Oh, no, no. The original still has a way better build up, in my opinion. But like when it gets to this part, it's like, ooh, yeah. Oh, now we're going. Yeah. It's like, let's go. Yeah. Let's destroy the enemy with tanks. Yeah. And like it suits the, the name, even like turbocharge and overdrive. It's like because the tempo is so much faster, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is, no, this is definitely one where the jump from the regular team to the power team is very big. I think it's above power calling, actually. Uh, oh, uh, definitely. Yes. Yeah. But above regular Drake? Uh, that's difficult. Ooh. Because, like, I, I always Maybe loved barely. Justice... Like, I always loved Justice Team way more. But the globe that Drake got was like, fuck. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what? Yeah, put it above Drake. Yeah, I, I really like this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Up next. It's, it's Kame's theme. Okay, listen. Yeah. I know I'm like, oh, huge weep, oh, Japan, yeah. I love it, blah, 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 blah. I always thought his theme was very underwhelming. Yeah, but like it stayed the exact same. So I feel like it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's like, no, it's very like, it sounds very big. And I do like love all of the vocal sound that they added. But I don't know. I never like, I never liked his theme that much. Again, this isn't underwhelming or anything, because it's still... No, because it's what, what I you were expecting. Yeah. I guess above Max, but that's about it. No, I'd still put it above Hachi. I might put it above Grit, actually. I st I'd still put it above Grit. Power Grit, you mean? Oh, uh, or sorry. above yeah, Regular Grit? No, no, Power Grit. But not above Regular Grit. Yeah. And not above Power mm. Max. Also, at this point, I would also just quickly like to shout out that uh, I think it's the Gold Comet's theme or anthem i don't know legitimately uses the you and like props props to that <laughs> i want to say uh real quick people were getting upset about oh no name change it's not yellow comedy anymore eh, who wow cares? all just... this woke business <laughs> uh you know what i actually prefer gold comet it just sounds better it sounds cool i like it, it yeah also yeah orange stars red the star why are you not upset about that anyway <laughs> So this one, it's kind of like a Japanese festival, I guess. Yeah, that's the thing. It's very simple. It's just, it just plays in double time. Yeah. But it works so well. Again, like the festival vibe. I love it. Yeah. yeah I knew this is when you get, was going to be a big one for you. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, no, again, like all the vocals and stuff. Like his theme was okay. But now with the power theme, I'm like, okay, no, this is pretty good. It's, it's still not enough to go into Fantastic for me. But it's no. definitely, but yeah, no, definitely not. But I, mm, e okay, either it's I would put it at either the bottom of pretty good. Yeah, I put it at the bottom. Of I could, good. I could put it above Olaf. Maybe above Olaf. You know what? Yeah, put it above Olaf. Above Andy? That's a difficult one, because I do like, because this one is actually, I actually really like this one. But Andy's theme is all still very good and like a classic, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Mm. I always felt like this was one of the better ones from the original game. Mm hmm It was very nice. And it's, it's pretty good. Oh, this one's very good. Is it fantastic good? It might be. Hmm. My only thing is like, yeah, yeah, no, no, this one's definitely, I, I would put this definitely in fantastic. We can, 
Oh. Like, I don't know about what do you think? By the way, people who downloaded the soundtrack, uh, there's actually one track I forgot to uh, loop. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot, but I did. It's like, I like it, but I was even questioning if it was fantastic good. What do you like about it so much? It's just like, again, it's just nice because like, oh. It's just I mean, a, very nice. as a character, like, I really like her in this game. She's, <laughs> she's adorable. Like, the theme is very... It's always been nice. It's a very nice melody. I really like melody. Mm -hmm. But I feel like just... you Like, you could say that it's just, oh, yeah, it's a high-quality version of the original. But the jump to higher-quality instruments in this one really adds helps. so much. That's true. So I definitely put it in Fantastic. Yeah, where? You, you can decide. I think it's about the same level as Drake, honestly. Yeah, I don't think it's above Drake. I yeah, was going to say, like, above Power Colin. Yeah, that's good. It's just more of the same, I feel like. Yeah, that's a thing. Like, it's just... I feel yeah, like it's, it's just very equal. More of an obvious waltz. Yeah. But it's not, like... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. This is very much like... I mean, eh, they're kind of the... They, they're too similar, so I... I think it's yeah. slightly better, because just so much you more think? upbeat. And it's like, hey, let's go. Well, yeah, like you said, a waltz. Hmm. I could go just above or just below. I would I would put it just below, actually. I think I prefer the simplicity of the original. I think if you weren't here, I would put it just above, but I'll agree. Hmm. Like, uh, yeah, she is adorable in this game. <laughs> and her animations are amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, where she does the glasses shine. <laughs> like, I see of right course. through your plans. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> All right, uh, anyway. So, yeah, guess what the S stands for? Uh, well, there's no S, Lenny. I know. But, um... There is an S in Absolutely Amazing, though, so... Uh, yeah, that's true. So, fuck it. It stands for Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I do think... Because I listened to this one, I'm like, oh, f oh. But then listening to the original, I'm like, wow, they actually changed this one a lot. They did. Like, they changed it to, like, a little samba. Mm -hmm. And it's it's very different. And it's, like, because I understand some people are like, oh, it's I too guess... different. Like, the no. vibe is different. The old one was definitely much more like, oh, kooky old man. While this one is way more smooth. But it sounds so fucking good, though. Actually, think about it. I think it could go below power, Andy. Mm, no. I, I just, still... I really love Power Andy. Well, you know what? I mean, sure. Yeah. We can put because, it Because, I mean, we have another one coming up. So. I mean... Yeah. Actually, we'll leave it like this. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, you know. Mm. <laughs> uh, so Sensei can go below. Yeah. Um, but, um, I mean... Okay. I even made a video about it. That's how fucking good this was. Okay, and uh, this is the part where we make a new tier called a uh, Sensei Power Team Sense? tier. That yes. is at the top of everything. I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> like this one. Hold up. Dude, ah. that little GBA part is so good. <laughs> this, like, it yeah, it they, just gets me every time. They, they didn't need to go that hard. So good. <laughs> no, but now it's like, ooh, it's not very wavy. Is it cool? And then the drop it in the guitars. That really did oh. Sensei's theme justice. This is like, because it's like, you know, oh yeah, there's a lot of like absolutely amazing tracks in the soundtrack, but like, it's not even close that this is the, like, this is the best one. And it's not even a close contest. Nope. It's crazy how good like, this one is. I can't believe there's such a big power gap between this track and then like the second best track whichever one that may be but like dude like i can't believe they made it this fucking good so good like and it, it starts with like a like lower quality sounding one it's like oh it's old timey and then it flows into the regular one like it's gba and then in a regular theme and then suddenly it turns to electro swing it's like like a geriatric japanese pilot shouldn't be allowed to be this cool <laughs> he's awesome like his theme was very good in the original and it's just they just up the ante oh but it's like, like tenfold like this is what sammy's theme should have done or like jess's it's like <laughs> it should have big been upgrade like yeah. so much bigger and better like it was already good wow it's so much better but they didn't and sensei like did tenfold <laughs> it's crazy
Oh, it's just Andy Steam. Wait a minute. Dude! <laughs> Again, like, if you, if people had any doubts that the people who made this uh, remake, like, love the games and wanted to do it justice, what more proof do you need than, like, this? There was no reason to do this. They made but an they evil... they did because it's fun. They made an evil Andy theme. <laughs> they actually made Clone Andy a unique character who's fucking awesome. And I love, like, the weird, like, voices. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, oh, it's so cool. It's like, it's a, a weird version of Andy's theme. I think it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, easily. Um... But just, like, everything surrounding it. My feelings towards the track is also affected by, like, how it's used and implemented in game. Oh, of course. And this one, I think it might go above Power Andy. Because, like, it was such a what-the-fuck moment mm -hmm. when Clone Andy's like, and it starts! Like, Andy's theme! It's like, yeah. oh, oh, it it's like, like the original, <laughs> just Andy's theme, and then suddenly it turns weird. <laughs> like, that is so incredibly well done. Mm-hmm. And, and also, just for that reason, I think it it, mm. it belongs above Power Andy. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm not entirely sure if I if I agree with like you know purely like music wise, but I'm not gonna stop you because like they just nailed it that hard. Yes, they did. And also not music related, but I also like that it's not just Andy who is glowing eyes. Like they changed like his hue so that his red clothes are like a darker red, and his hair is black. And his, his hair is black, yeah. But like making the clothes <laughs> darker, so he's like. Again, like very evil. It's, it's so cool. And actually, you don't know this, but mm. like, you know how every CEO is like a like and a dislike? Mm. <laughs> Clone Andy's? I didn't show it in a video, but like, dude, they're like, they're hilarious. <laughs> his likes, or his like is whatever Andy likes, <laughs> and his dislike is ladybugs. In parentheses, they're scary. <laughs> What? It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. So, like, oh my god, it's like, oh fuck. Uh, so handy. That's amazing. Alright, let's, let's move on to his power theme. Which I guess is the theme, but a bit more distorted. Yeah. Which is cool, but like... It's not as good. Yeah. It was really cool when I heard it for the first time, but uh, like listening back to it, I, it's not as good. It's still absolutely amazing, but it's not above his regular theme. Yeah, no. Like, um, I think like putting uh, Clone Andy that high definitely deserved, but then I would put this at the bottom of absolutely amazing. Yep. Yep. It's like his power activation scene is <laughs> awesome. Like, he's just evil Andy. And the, the fact that they made Andy dumber in this game just makes that even better. <laughs> oh no, and Andy, like, but actually competent? Oh no. Where Andy's like, wait, he's not even doing a good job of being me. I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> and up next, next is, I think, the Black Hole theme you liked the most in the original, right? Did I like this one the most? I think so. I don't remember if I actually said this one is my favorite, because listening to the entire soundtrack today, it definitely isn't. <laughs> well, not anymore. Yeah. Like, I put it in okay. Um, yes. Do I like it more than Power Grid? I think I do. Yeah, you can put it above Power Grid. And not like, above Kanbe? No, not above Kanbe. Okay. Although... <clears throat> no, you can put it above Kanbe, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I, I think, like, this is a song that starts off very cool but then it kind of loses itself during the middle like here yeah it's like what are they doing <laughs> yeah it's like i, I kind of get because like yeah also it's very chaotic chaos which fits black hole of course but it's a bit they went a bit too far with it and then the spire theme see this, this one is definitely better i think yeah it is it's better but it's not that much better mm -hmm. i might put it above power max I don't think so, actually. No? No? Hmm. Just above regular flag, then? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna have to grab everyone and it's okay and make them smaller. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Hold up. And just above black, right? I mean, I would still put it above uh, Max, but... Power Max? Yeah. I, again, I like the start of Power Max, but that's about it. 
But then, yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's a nice... That's a nice difference between the regular and then the power. Yes. It, it, it's mm-hmm. like, first you have flak on a Monday, then you have flak on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... I'm not saying this just because I like Lash, <laughs> but this one's fantastic. Hmm. It's It sticks to the original, but just updates it, and it sounds awesome. Yeah, I don't know. What? Well, I mean, I guess it could be fantastic, but I don't know. I'm just thinking about spoilers. I think the power theme is way better. But yes, hmm. yes, the power theme is absolutely amazing. Whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, definitely, we can definitely put this one in fantastic, but like, I think this one is how above high would you rank Colin? Mm, oh, mm, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. All right, let's grab everyone in fantastic. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe we, sh- we should have made them smaller from the start. Uh, shut up. How do you feel about her, her uh, upgrade, updated design, by the way? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Like, there's, like, she just looks different. She went from something uh, about her face. You went from creepy child to actual goth GF. <laughs> yeah, she went from creepy child to sassy goth GF. Yeah. She's not that big T, but I mean, they're definitely there. <laughs> She's definitely not a child anymore. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think she ever really was meant to be a child, but more childlike. She... Yeah. Which definitely isn't as much the case here. But, yeah, I don't know, there's something about her face that looks too different from the original. I think that weirds me out is that in her uh, portrait, she has black nails. When she activates her CO power in that animation, she has no black nails. And it really bothers me. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, Yeah. I know. Hmm. I just forgot about it. I I think it's like her eye shape seems very different to me. And also the fact that she has like, like, dude, her lips are huge. Yeah. And like, was it always like that? No, she has very pronounced lips. Hmm. But I mean, so does Sensei. No? Yeah, true. All right, uh, let's move on to uh, the superior version. This one is so good. This is so obviously better. It's like a, a rave party. Yeah. Like, the original is like, yeah, you're having a good time with her at a rave, and then this plays when you took some DMT or whatever, and you're going and you're going fucking crazy. Let's look at that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better than Power Andy. Oh, you put it that high? Yes! Dude, so good! Mm, I mean, it's definitely... Obviously, it's very good, but... I mean, but personally... Dude, come on! Yeah, but, but personally, I still like Sensei more. I don't. <laughs> this well, one is fine. so awesome. Surely it's not because you want to go to GF. Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> Look, listen. When I'm sitting in a car, I would much rather listen to this. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, so I, know, I definitely want both. Like, you can drive your car in a I smooth can, way, you. but then you can also have a party in your car. Yes. There we go. So this one's definitely good i really like this one it's very it's like, pretty good it's, it's very much like again like yeah it's the original but it sounds good like with improved quality and stuff yeah i might go with fantastic on this one yeah because i just i really like this theme no matter what because i love how incredibly harsh and distorted those guitars are but i don't know where would you put it like if you want to put it in pretty good i i wouldn't be opposed to putting it like i don't know like bottom of fantastic or top of pretty good yeah, because I'm thinking like, I feel like bottom of fantastic is 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 good, if you can live with that. That's fine with me. Um, but then, um, <clears throat> anyway. So hey, guess you know what the S also guess stands for? Sidewinder. No, no, it's like this is like okay, okay, and even now I'm like, oh yeah, oh. Oh this no, is nice. this is definitely like. No, this is the part where I'm already going like, oh, no, fuck this part. Dude, the key change. That part is so good. The key change is so fantastic. Where, because that's the thing. I still love uh, the original theme. Yes. But, but this it is one. true. Listening to the original theme now, I'm like, 
Oh, I wish the key change was in there. Right? <laughs> dude, it's it's like so simple that that key change is like chef's kiss, dude. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think it's it's just below Sensei. Very deserved second place. It is the best. For everyone's favorite, Snake. Well, let me move everyone, but yeah. Oh, this, this track is... It's definitely one of my favorites. It's, it's one of those that I immediately send to people on Discord being like, What the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. Like, this is just basically... Like, this is just where they randomly got Skrillex, the guest star, <laughs> on the soundtrack. Like, yeah. this is like... Like, when the... Like, when the beat drops and shit, it's literally just Bangarang. <laughs> Very obviously a good, deserved second place for, like, best track yes. in the game. Yes. He's very happy about it. Mm -hmm. It's funny, because Sensei and Adder are kind of, like, rivals, I guess, in oh, the campaign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this one. Now, uh, the leader of the Black Hole bunch is... <laughs> <laughs> the black hole bunch. I like that. What do you think? See, I feel like I always kind of slept on this theme because now I'm like, whoa. Really? Interesting. Because it's like, the thing that I liked about this one is that it's very much like, again, the beginning sounds super ominous. Then the guitars come in. It's very much like, yeah, black hole. But then like, there's like the orchestra and the violins and stuff, which is very different for like the black hole themes. So, and it adds so much like... I don't know what's the word like drama which is a very nice touch like it's very again like i appreciate it that it's because it's just doing something very different from the other black hole themes i'm just not the biggest fan of this one no no i mean i'm not gonna do something crazy and say that it should be fantastic i don't think it's that good no but it's definitely at least pretty good yeah i, I feel that but i wouldn't put it above like power combat even i feel like it can mm. go above regular Olaf. It feels weird to me because I would like to rank it higher, but it's like, yeah, I don't know. You might be right. It can go above Olaf. Yeah. Like if this, you could kind of put this in Origami King, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't bat an eye. <laughs> and then another one I should kind of listen to more. I've definitely listened to these themes like not as much as the others i'm just not a big fan yeah i mean this one to me is also very much kind like of underwhelming yeah no this one to me is also kind of underwhelming because it's like uh oh Let oh me... he's not happy about that <laughs> he doesn't like that <laughs> i feel like this one is even at the bottom of underwhelming <laughs> yeah it's not that different no it's like oh they added a different beat that's it they mm -hmm. call it a day. Like, Hawk went to the club, but he doesn't even like it. Yeah, he's at the club, but he's, like, in the corner, like, my feet hurt, I'm tired. <laughs> exactly. Like, I pulling wish, that I, I wish I was at home, like, waging war. Playing, playing video game. <laughs> I wish I was at home, at war. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then we only have, you know, the big bad left. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So I know how you feel about this, right? Like, I'm wondering how you feel about it. I mean, I definitely like it more than you. Like, I would definitely not put it like, like, no, it needs to be higher than that. Come on. Oh, uh, I would put it underwhelming, but yeah, I know you'd put it underwhelming, but I'm like, no way, dude. Yeah, it's super underwhelming. It's so mid. I really like, that's don't the thing. See I was that. expecting so much more from this. Like, it's it even sounds less intimidating than the GBA version. I mean, I don't. I would. I definitely wouldn't put it in underwhelming, but I would. You, if, I mean, but I know you feel very strongly about it. Yeah. Where would you put it then? It's because, like, again, underwhelming is there because of expectation. Mm -hmm. And if expect expectations weren't met, it belongs in underwhelming. And if expectations were met tenfold, you have sensei. I don't know. I'd still put it like above Hawk. So you didn't have like super high expectations for Sturm's theme, the big bad. This is about what I expected. Like this is this is basically what I what I disliked about a lot of battle themes, um, like boss battle themes in Origami King, where they were all just kind of generic rock. <laughs> and this one is basically that. It's like, oh wow, do, 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 evil guy. So it's yeah, it's underwhelming to me. Hmm. 
But I suppose would, it could be really at, put it at the at the bottom. No, no, no. It's, it's better than Hawk. Well, actually, like if we're looking at underwhelming, I think I would put Sammy at the top of underwhelming because I still like her theme the most out of all of them. Maybe just can be higher. If you want to move her, if you want to move Sammy above Drake, yeah, uh, I agree with that. But I still, Sammy. I still think Justine is a banger that you're sleeping on. Drake? No, Storm should be above Drake. Oh yeah, right. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Because yes. like. Drake's power theme is straight up like a downgrade. This and Sturm's theme here is like a side grade, I suppose. <laughs> like it should have been so much more, in my opinion. Yeah. Of but then, what do you think about the power theme? Look, listen. I mean, we kind of have to wait for the one part, I guess. Also, like the toot toot toot, I feel like, is that a reference to Sturm blowing smoke? I never thought of it that way, but honestly, I but can it see it. But it could be, right? I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, basically, <laughs> there's going to be um, wubs and, yeah. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Bro. It's like, it was funny when I first heard it, but I'm honestly really not the biggest fan of this one either. Yeah, because that's the thing. For me, this is the underwhelming one. Yeah, also, I think it's worse than his regular one. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> Just lower than Drake. Nah, I'd still put it above Drake. The power theme should be a more intense version, but yeah. this one feels less intense. Yeah, it kind of slows down, doesn't it? Yeah, it slows down, and I mean, of course, like, oh, but there's wubs, and like, whoop, 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 but the wubs don't even sound like that intense. Mm -hmm. But, um,. Yeah. But then, uh, lucky you. know, you. there's actually a reason why the original Sturm theme is kind of whatever. Yeah, lucky you. They were like, oh, wait, let's fix this. <laughs> no, I feel like they, they had this one. It's like, oh, it would be so cool as a final boss theme. Yeah, um, guess what? Sturm has a third theme. Uh, uh, let's call it Final Sturm. It's only used in the final battle of the Advanced Force 2 campaign. And it is objectively the best Sturm theme. Oh, no, it is. It's... Very, really good. It's a very clearly the superior theme. Yeah, um, this is my representation of Final Stir. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, this one is what the it should have been. I was like, oh, now I get it. And I think this one, oh, where would you put it? Also, I just want to mention, I'm just looking at all of the Stern portraits, and I feel like if you put them all in a column or whatever, that could be a really good meme template. <laughs> Where it's like galaxy brain, it's like yes. the stir with the glowing eyes. <laughs> Please, someone make it happen. <laughs> but yeah, uh, where do we rate this? See, yeah, that's the thing. This is obviously the best version, but yes. how high would you rate it? I would, I mean, I could put in Fantastic, because it is really good. Yeah. I think it might go above Mill. Ooh, this is a toughie. Actually, yeah, maybe. No, actually, you know what? Call me crazy, but isn't this better than Clone's power theme? It is. It totally is. You're right. So there he is. Sir made it to the top tier. Like, dude, just look like Sturm. Two Sturms in Underwhelming. And then suddenly, <laughs> like, bam! It is final Sturm! <laughs> like, like, talking about a glow up. Yeah. Look, I mean, look at look him. At him. <laughs> Honestly, looking at it, like there, you can definitely shift around a couple of things, especially around the middle. Mm -hmm. But like the, the things that are absolutely amazing or just like clearly just the cream of the crop mm -hmm. in this in this game. And usually it's it's well, usually it's like very fast paced party themes. <laughs> it was like lashes, andies, adders, just like heavy metal kind of. I mean, usually a very good thing if you want to make the music in this game good is just press the go hard button. <laughs> yes. And there's a lot of fun ones like Collins, Power mm -hmm. Thief. But, th but then I also love like, like honestly, if you look at it, it's like a lot of like, yeah, the go hard and stuff. But then I do like that Drake and Sonya are in there as well. Like yeah. pretty high up because they're just yeah. so nice. Yeah, because they are. Like, especially Drake's. You, you definitely made a good point. Mm -hmm. Saying, like... I mean, yeah, the one part 
at Drake's the end. theme is like, I mean, okay, not counting Sensei, because, I mean, Sensei is obviously League on his own. Mm -hmm. But, like, Drake's theme has the biggest glow up in the whole game, I think. Yep, that's fair. So we should go on to honorable mentions. Yes. And I want to do, I'll do two things first. First, a quick one, and then a general one. Mm -hmm. A quick one, and I don't know if you'll agree with this, but again, this is definitely one that is that was surprisingly good because of the moment and it was unexpected. Mm -hmm. And it's the track called Kanbei's Resolve. I was gonna mention it. This one is really good and it's basically just because they made the moment between Kanbei and Sonya at the end 10 times more sentimental and it's really well done. Yeah, so this music is just used for that scene. Yep. It's pretty cool it's, they it also... made this music just for that. I think it also plays at the end of Duty and Honor, hmm. where you save the cities from Adder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that makes sense. And it doesn't, like, the, the letter you get from the cities isn't just like, thank you for saving us. It's, like, longer. Ooh, so, nice. yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, that's what I mean. They really, like, add to the dialogue and change it up to make moments better. You can feel the care and love they mm -hmm. put into this remake. Yeah. And this track is just, mwah. Mm. So yeah, I think this... even without that moment, it's just a very nice tune. Mm. Yeah, no, I mean, this easily goes into absolutely amazing tier if we were to put it in the tier list. Uh, and then, yes, I think... or, unless you want to say something about it. No, no, I was going to move on to something else. Well, I, I want to do one more general thing. I'll go over a couple. But the fact that in this remake, they also pay homage to Super Famicom Wars. And there's like multiple tracks that are from that game. It's just like... Again, just the love and care and appreciation for what the series, like the roots of the series, and just using music tracks from the roots of the series for the credits, for the map, just just sprinkled throughout the mm -hmm. game. It's just like, dude. Yeah, I was also going to mention like the world map theme that was yeah. also used from uh, Famicom Wars. Mm -hmm. That's also a really good one. Yeah, this one. It's just fun. Yep. It's so fun. Like, they updated it, but yeah, it is from Famicom Wars, Super Famicom Wars. There's no reason to have done this. Yeah, like, there's did. something completely unnecessary, but like, yeah. whoa, cool. Like, holy fuck. That's amazing, actually. All right, so you want to do... Well, I mean, the first thing that I want to mention is that there's probably a lot of people right now wondering, like, wait, aren't you missing some power themes? Oh, you mean your regular power theme? The OG power themes? Well, yeah, the fan favorites. Honestly, all of them? Well, no, actually, you know what? Hold on. This one? The fan see, favorite. Yeah. The regular Super Saiyan power theme. Yeah. I think it's extremely underwhelming. See, that's the thing. When we were talking about, like, oh, we're going to put something in underwhelming, I actually thought you were we were talking about this one. Uh, Yes. It belongs yeah, in underwhelming. Like, and then something... Da -da 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 -da, like... Like, it doesn't have that high peak of like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, the GBA version is a million times better. Yeah, I mean, I still think it's I still think it's very nice, but like, yeah, it doesn't hold a candle to the original. Yeah, and it's like, it, it kind of sucks in a way, because this only plays during factory missions. Mm. And, for example, when I did the Yellow Comet, uh, excuse me, Gold Comet factory mission, and Adder uses as a super CO power, or CO power, I'm expecting like, oh, hell yeah! And then suddenly you know, it just plays this one. Oh yeah. And it's like, oh, that's not nearly as good. <laughs> yeah. I think the regular uh, CO power theme is better for Black yeah. Hole. Yeah, but no, yeah, I but think neither like, of the CO power themes I actually like. The Black Hole ones are fine. Like this one is actually yeah, like this, kind this of this like, one's, ooh. Yeah, this one's really good. Mm -hmm. And then the super one, I mean, that's fine. Mm. Like I would say like, like, Black Hole CO Power is really good. This one is like, eh. Then I still like the Super CO Power theme, but it's not as good as it could have been. It's kind of underwhelming. Uh, and then the regular CO Power theme, I just think is kind of whatever. The regular Black Hole one is the best out of the, yes. the four of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we, I mean, I don't have these in the tier list because it was just going to be character themes but all of them except this one would be an underwhelming like especially the super co version like yeah. they, they didn't even update it they're just like yeah this is this is it kind of too bad but like it's also just in a game because otherwise people will complain about it yeah true. even though like um hey 
guess what? Giving every character their their their, their own super CO or CO power theme is just like above and beyond, and it's just better in general. It's so cool. <laughs> Because, like, oh, this is, like, cool and uplifting. Yeah, guess what? It doesn't suit all characters. Yeah, and it's kind of unfortunate that this is, like, the big hype moment. But then it's, like, no, stop. You made the other CO power teams too good. Yes. <laughs> it's, like, listen to this and then just listen to this. Like, this is already a million times better. Yeah, it is. It actually is. They should have made this, this Super CO theme also here a beat. <laughs> now, I feel like... It, they just, I th think they just sort of made the bass more crunchy and then actually have the main melody be an octave higher. Because it was supposed to be higher, but for some reason it's just lower in this version, which is mm -hmm. like weird. But yeah, but then there was um, some other uh, tracks that I want to mention, but it's like very simple stuff. Just like, you know, I always loved the results or like the, oh, you, Dude, you beat the, the, the stage yes, theme from uh, the second one. Oh, this one, well, right? Okay, no, I was talking about something else, but this is also way too fucking this groovy. This one is so good! <laughs> and just for the results screen! Yeah, just groove. I just love the way it sounds. <laughs> yeah, no, I was talking about the... You beat the stage of uh, the second of uh, Advanced Wars 2. So this one? Yeah. It's just very pretty. I just love it. I love. I mean, I loved it in the original. I just, I just think it sounds very nice, and I wanted to mention it. Well, I actually always liked the factory domination. Oh, let's see. And in this one, it also really did it justice. Where first it's big, and then it like turns into like a more quiet, like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Have you listened to it? Oh yeah, of course. Like first, like big, you <laughs> won. <laughs> and then it's gonna go into like a more quiet. It's like, it's like, what was, what, like, how do I describe this? <laughs> To me, this is like a great victory, but the battle's only just begun. No, like this part makes me think of like, oh, it's it's like in a play or in a musical or something. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of want to say like this is what happens when a remake is about like making the game good and mm -hmm. not making money. Game Freak. Hey, I brought it all <laughs> the way back to Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. And I... No, but it's true that it's night and day, right? Like it, yeah. compare this game I mean, yeah, to Brilliant yeah. Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Like, even the soundtrack. Like, let's be fucking honest. Oh, you mean because the soundtrack You can say to... whatever you want about the visual style of I mean, the Advanced Wars remake. Yeah, you, you mean the soundtrack of the Diamond and Pearl remakes that was, like, nothing but mid? Yes. I mean, they did Route 109 well. 209 well. That's that, that's true. Yeah. There were a few that, that were done real well. So any other honorable mentions you want to mention? Um, Just one more that I really, like... Well, actually, I mean, I'll click like... on one. Uh, I like, I like this one actually. It's like it's a unique track for this for the remake. I really like it, especially a part at the end. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention this one as well. This is like Enigma, right? Yeah. So right yeah, before it's... the second to last mission, mm -hmm. yeah, you no, meet Sturm for the first time. This really plays. cool. Like the part, you was like dun 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 dun. <laughs> that part is really good. Yeah. And again, like, like they added just a lot of just like cutscene music. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, they did add a lot of cutscene music, and like it's basically like the characters' themes, but like just cutscene versions. Yeah, more subdued versions of the characters' themes. Yeah, and I really like it actually. Mm -hmm. This one is really nice. <laughs> yeah, what did you want to say? Uh, I just want to uh, add one more honorable mention that I feel should really be appreciated, and that's uh, can you put up the Blue Moon theme? It was always my... Well, I, I love the Orange Star version in the original game. But this one is just like... There's something sad about it. Mm -hmm. Something melancholic. And just the update. It's like the new, like, you know, higher quality and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's just so beautiful. Like, again, all of the, a lot of the music is always very, like, very upbeat and very in your face. So then when something like this comes around and you just, just like stop and listen to it. Like Lenny mentioned the toy box before we started mm -hmm. recording. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this is, this really suits like the ending cutscene of yeah. toy box. Like here, the violins come in. Yeah. 
I think, oh. well, no, I know in the remake it's my favorite uh, <laughs> country theme. Oh, easily. Like, you know, the Orange Star one is fun, but this one is just, like, so nice. Mm -hmm. And the update really did it justice. I mean, I can keep clicking on things, but for some reason... Oh, well, I mean, when you first start the game and you hear this one... Uh, it's like, welcome back! Yeah. <laughs> and so bombastic. Um, but then I also want to mention, like, the online version of this one I really like for some reason. Yeah, it's really cool. Right? But they added, like, different variations. Also, one thing missing from my soundtrack, technically, is the menu versions of all character themes and CO themes. Oh, true. Like, uh, that was a bit much. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know those were a work. Th yeah, I didn't know those were a thing, but then I randomly found, like, like uh, a Sensei's theme and it's like yeah, it removes the main ooh. instruments and keeps the bass line usually yeah but it's actually like ooh, that's a nice bass line mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're nice in any case this is a very good tier list yes it's a very good, good game. music again so, best case scenario game yeah and again like it's even, like like if you don't care about advanced words and stuff just get a soundtrack to listen because it's just really good yes definitely one of the main reasons this this remake is so mind-blowing to me is because like the nostalgia for me and just the things that in the in the original game are just kind of like eh, are updated so incredibly well just biggest random example clone andy <laughs> it's just like oh my god they nailed that and if you're a fan of the original and you're expecting, oh yeah, it's just Andy, and you see just this amazingly, beautifully done, updated version of what that <laughs> moment is, it's like, wow, chef's kiss. Honestly, I think I'm going to call it a 10 out of 10 remake, just hmm. out of pure love. It's like, there was no reason to remake Advance Wars. So the only reason they did it is like, we want to. And that is where you start with the remake. You want to remake the game. You don't have to remake the game. <laughs> it's true, right? Just mm -hmm. random revival of series that should be long dead. And for the people who are nostalgic for that series, like me in this case, it's just like, wow. Thinking about the fact that this game exists is crazy. And it's everything I wish for, mm -hmm. honestly. The art style even grew on me. Like, yeah. I don't think... For me, there's uh, probably no reason to go back to the original. Like, I... Yes, I still prefer sprites. I mean, maybe? the sprite work is still really nice, but but like the COs, no, no contest. The CO designs in in the new one, the cartoon designs, mwah. no, shut up. They're not better in the originals. Also, they don't look not like mobile just games. Just here though. Yeah, sure. Anyway, <laughs> um, the sold like the, all all the the vehicles and stuff, they're fine. The soldiers are the only part. That I'm like, yeah, I mean, they look like toy people. But then when you see their 2D art, hey, they're kind of adorable. Oh, Have they're you very seen cute. the female orange star? Uh, She's troop? adorable. She's so cute. I want to marry her. <laughs> Only followed by the yellow comet female troop. She's also cute. Yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but no, no, no. Chloe and Andy is my, my true wifey. Although Lash. Look at that. Look at that smile. But Lenny, Lenny, it's fine. I can fix her. <laughs> you know? You can fix her destructive tendencies. But yeah, uh, fucking get the soundtrack. I'll put it in the description. I ripped it. Sorry, there's no menu themes. Uh, and Sonya's theme is not, ex like, uh, is, doesn't loop. Oops. But, I mean, people wanted the soundtrack, so I'm happy to uh, deliver on that. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Good game. Good music. And fun tier list to make because the music is good. Please get the game because it, they really deserve it, honestly. Yeah, I really hope this game does well. I I hope so too. I think I think like looking at the response to random ass videos I make of it, I think it's doing pretty well. Yeah, like I, I do I did I think I read that it has been like on top of the US eShop list or something for like awesome a little bit. So like oh that's good. Again, for me, it's been such a long time since I felt this way about a video game. Mm -hmm. Like this game, pure passion, is truly special to me, and I want to make like a dedicated video about it, just talking about it a little and what it means. Um, but this is a nice start with the music. Mm -hmm. All right, see you next time. Bye, everybody.